avoid the sweep. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Philly Sessio video cast of Tuna Recap of this afternoon's game of Tuna Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco Giants. As the Phillies defeat the Giants by the final score of 6 to 5 as they avoid the sweep. And uh, this is a roller coaster in this one, ladies and gentlemen. After we have a 4 to 1 lead, it is erased after a 4 run top of the 7th inning for the Giants as they take a 5 to 4 lead. And then Bryce Harper in the bottom of the 7th inning when they clutch soul home run to Tyler Vaughan and Andrew Knapp doing the job, finishing the job to score Bryce there. What a great win here, but man, oh man, it was a scary win. I guess before we get into this video, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please join the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. So, wow. What a great game to go to, right? A lot of action. The rain delay was just insane. The, uh, as Matt Gullup tweeted, right? I mean, I saw it first hand. I mean, those flag poles were moving in center field. I'm like, oh, man. I, th I thought maybe one would fall over. You saw the bullpen gates were knocked over. The wind was just insane. We had like an hour of rain delay in this one. And uh, there's speculation this game would not even be played. But we get the we get the game in. The Giants had to be in there playing by 10 p.m. So there was a sense of urgency this afternoon at Citizens Bank Park to get this game done. I was there. It was just great to be at the ballpark, got called out of school early, uh, and uh, usually I don't go to games like it was a business person special, uh, but I got tickets, I got to go, right, you can't, how can you pass up an opportunity to go to a ball game, uh, but the Zach Eppel was on the mound in this one, I mean, he was pretty decent up until the very end, we pick up the scoring summary, somebody, somebody at their first big league home run today is Mickey Moniak, he finally did it, the first run driven in by a center fielder, this year, it just shows how bad our production has been on center field. In the bottom second inning, Mickey Moniak homers the other way. He homers on the fly ball, two left center field, eight three runs out the scores. Brad Miller and Nick Maton, and it's now three nothing. Feels great job there, man, Mickey Moniak. I mean, that ball was hit pretty hard, and it barely got out for his first big league home, home run, and it almost didn't count, right? I mean, you saw the rain delay, and that game would have been rained out. That home run wouldn't have counted, and then that really would have been a bummer for Mickey Moniak. But luckily, the game was finished, right? When we won and the home run counted. So good job at Mickey Moniak there. And uh, I mean, maybe he, this is what he needed, right? You saw he went hit with the rest of the ball game. Maybe this is what he needed. He need, you saw he got the hit uh, last night. Uh, so maybe he's just starting to come out of it a little bit. But I still think Adewar should be waiting in the wings there. Uh, but uh, I tell you what, I mean, great job at Mickey Moniak. I understand he only collected one hit today, but it, it was a big one. It was a big one. Then at the time of the fifth inning, it's a bonus decision there uh, by the Giants. I mean, it was just some poor base running, some poor miscommunication. I mean, this should have been a single. Devon uh, lines uh, a ball in the right field. And uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, Wilmer Flores uh, was uh, advancing off of first base, and he got caught up. And it ended up being a, being a fielder's choice, but both Trapozzi came around the score. It should have just been an RBI single, but instead he was not credited with the hit. He was, it was a fielder's choice. Uh, he got the force at second. Bryce Harper came up firing to get him at second. So that ended up going as a fielder's choice, a rare occurrence. So occasionally you will see that where uh, the runner gets tied up and uh, gets, you know, gets tied up between first and second, and then the right fielder, whoever it is, I mean, usually it's around right field since that's the closest. I mean, center field, I mean, I guess they can get up there too. But, uh, you know, throw to second base and get the force. Uh, you occasionally see it, you know, third base maybe by the left field. Occasionally you might see it there too, and it's a pretty rare occurrence, but Buster Posey was able to score in that to get the Giants on the board. Now a 3-1 to one ball game. Then in the bottom of the sixth inning, Nick Maton. This guy has been red hot, ladies and gentlemen. He has been red hot. Huh, I tell you what, I mean, this guy, it comes since coming up, you saw, you know, he's taking over Didi Gregorius right now because Didi's hurt, uh, not placed on the injury list, but uh, he's kind of day to day right now. He singles on a line drive to left field. Alex Dickerson lets the ball go right past him. He totally misplayed it. He goes all the way to the wall. Brown Miller scores, and Nick Mates on advances to third on that. And uh, that did go down as a fielding error for Alex Dickerson, and well deserved. He gets slapped with the error, and he should have been. And the Phillies now extend the lead four to one. I was so excited, dude. This kid has been unbelievable. He's been red hot. He's been totally just red hot. He's been just killing it. He's been killing it, right? Uh, so you just love to see it out of the young kid. You just love to see it. Then at the top of the seventh inning, things have started to unravel, right? We, uh, Brandon Kids are on the mound. And we talked about old friend Darren Ruff last night, right? We walked Darren Ruff. A guy who was part of this organization for you know a few seasons uh, left us after the 2016 season after we traded him to the Los Angeles Dodgers in the Howie Kendrick trade, and then the Dodgers they didn't play a game at the Dodgers and they sold off his rights I believe it to a, a Korean team uh, played over there for a while and now he's back in the MLB and the San Francisco Giants uh, picked up his contract well. 
Not, uh, not the story we wanted to see today, right? I mean, I just had a bad feeling when he stepped up to the plate for whatever reason, uh, batting with two runners on, uh, and uh, he likes to get back at us, right? And he's probably mad at us because uh, we traded him away. Well, he got his revenge today. He's going to the ninth fly ball to center field into the bullpen. A three-run shot that scores Wilmer Flores and Brandon Crawford, and the ball game is tied at four. So I understand we won this ball game, ladies and gentlemen, but the blown leads need to stop. We need to stop blowing so many leads. It's just absolutely absurd. I just cannot stand it. I just cannot stand it. Darren Ruff. I mean, seriously, Darren Ruff. I mean, come on. Come on. Darren Ruff. I mean, uh, at least, you know, have someone good. I mean, hit the home run. I mean, Darren Ruff's not good. I mean, he's not. He's not. So I mean, you're going to let that kind of guy get the best. You understand he's still a professional baseball player, but come on. I mean, it's just like the, the whole story just really makes my head hurt, right? I mean, the guy, you know, used to be part of his organization, and he's really not that good, and then we allow a home run against him. It's just like, nah, I don't like that. I just don't like that. I uh, came off the bench. That was a pinch hit home run, too. So that was his third home run of the season. And then it should have been the final out of the inning. I mean, just like terrible, terrible, terrible defense. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon drops a, fly, a routine fly ball to left field. That would have been the third out of the inning. And then, you know what? The Giants make us pay for our mistake. As Alec Anderson singles on a short line drive to center field, Mike Krasinski scores. And it's now a 5-4 to four Giants lead. They take the lead. They take the lead. Uh, and uh, that was off of Joe Giromero, and the Phillies bullpen needs to wake up. It just does. I mean, Hector and Harris look great today. Uh, I tell you what, Kansas they look shaky. They look really, really shaky, and uh, we need to wake up. We need to wake up in that bullpen. And I understand we have some injuries with Bradley, and that really hurts the back end. There's no question about that, uh, but uh, we need to start producing that bullpen, right? I mean, it, it's looking like the 2020 bullpen. Not to that degree, the past two days ass. I mean, it's been pretty bad the past two days. So hopefully going on this road trip, hopefully it settles down a little bit, right? I mean, hopefully it settles down. But Andrew McCutcheon, I blame him partly for that. I mean, dropping that routine fly ball that should have and would have been the third out of the inning. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, but that, that should have been caught. There's no excuse for that. Um, so he gets uh, rightfully so slapped by that error, as he should have been. Then in the bottom of the seventh inning, Bryce Harper. This guy has been red hot, ladies and gentlemen. He got a single early in the ball game, and he never does anything when I go to the game. This is by far the best I've seen out of Bryce Harper when I've gone to the game, and he finally does. I've never witnessed the Bryce Harper Phillies. Phillies home run in person. I did witness him in a home run in 2017 when I was at a Phillies Nationals game when he was a member of the Washington Nationals. Uh, I was in the home opener, Vince Vaz is on the mound, I hit a home run to right field. Uh, that was like one of his first uh, home runs of the season, 2017. I booed. I could not stand Bryce Harper back then. I did not like him, and I booed him. I remember, I booed him really, really bad. I could not stand him. He was a Washington National. As uh, he was on a fly ball to right field, it was more of a line drive. I mean, my oh my, that ball barely got out of the ballpark. His fourth home run of the season, and the Phillies tied at five. You saw, I mean, he wasn't you know, showboating, but he, you saw his head was looking out toward uh, the outfield, and he saw when he went over the wall, he went like this. Like that. I mean, he was just so, he just was so pumped, and he should have been to tie the ball game. This guy's been hitting everything. He's been getting on base. He's been getting these extra base hits. This guy is on fire. He's on fire. He's on fire. This guy, he's red hot right now, ladies and gentlemen. Bryce Harper's hitting everything. He's hitting everything. Um, so you love to see that. Finally, I finally get to witness a Bryce, a Phillies, a Bryce Harper Phillies home run in person. Finally. It just, it took forever. I finally got to see it. I'm so happy I got to see it because I've been dying to see it. Didn't get to see it in 2019. And, uh, my third game of 2021, I finally get to see it. And at the bottom of Anthony, of all people, Andrew Knapp. Andrew Knapp dumb, batting with a couple ducks on the pond. I was thinking, like, maybe he could draw a walk here. He had the bases loaded, and then uh, Nick Mate Tom was on deck. And I think you heard that. I actually put some of my story of saying that at the very beginning of the video. And uh, JT was uh, in the hole after Nick Mayton. Um, but uh, so I'm like thinking, like, hey, if Andrew Knapp can maybe get on base. Well, he did much more than that. He did much more than that, ladies and gentlemen. He hits a short line drive to left field. It gets down, and Bryce Harper races on to score, and the Phillies win it. Six to five, a walk-off victory. A walk-off victory. That was our first walk-off victory of the season. And uh, we walked off an opening day, but great job of this Phillies team. I'm still a little we blew that lead. Nevertheless, a win is a win as we avoid the broom. I was really concerned about that. I was really, really concerned about that. You saw Gabe Capper try to uh, potentially challenge that call because he thought maybe Bryce didn't touch on plate. Hey, he's just trying to do his job. You all know I don't like Gabe Capper. He's just trying to make sure he, he and he did. Eventually, he went like this. He's like, all right, I'm not challenging that. Um, but they, they, they did look at it. Uh, he didn't challenge it, but they did look at it uh, because they thought that Hart Harper did not touch home plate. And then eventually they confirmed that he did. And he did. He did. So, uh, 
Yeah, we avoid the sleep. At least we did not get swept out. We should have easily at least won the series, uh, if not swept these guys out. Because we should have won last night. And arguably, we had so many runs to our position the night before that we even should have won that. So, hey, I mean, it's better to get swept out, but I uh, expect more of this Phillies team in the series. There's no question about that. But you know what? A win is a win, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew McCutcheon needs to start producing. Uh, he got one knock today. He liked out that infield single. That was nice to see. Reese Hoskins, a dreadful 0 for 5 performance with three strikeouts. And he's not even getting on base, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, his on base percentage is pretty low. And hit around 239 now. He is just ice cold. Bryce Harper on the other hand, the other extreme. 357 batting average. A 357 batting average. I mean, man, I mean, OPS well over a thousand. This guy is hitting everything. He's hitting everything. I tell you what, I mean, you just love to see it. Alec Bum continues to struggle. It didn't draw two walks. Day 219 batting average, ladies and gentlemen. Alec Bum needs to wake up. He, he, he's pressing. He's pressing. Joe Girardi was saying that. How about Brad Miller with the four hit day today? You see that? Brad Miller with the four hit day today, uh, scoring those two runs. He was unbelievable. Andrew Knapp only getting that one night, but it was a big one. The RBI walk-off hit to score Bryce and Nick Maton. I mean, this kid has been unbelievable. Filling in for DD. Three hits today. And Mickey Mone hit the one knock, but it was a big one. Now, a lot of these hits, I mean, one hit, but it was a big one, right? The, his first big league home run, that three-run shot. So, great job at his Phillies offense today. Bryce, I mean, he's been unbelievable. It's nice to see that Mickey Moniak, uh, first career homer. And how about Andrew Knapp? He needed that. He needed that battle. He needed to start producing because I tell you what, I was not uh, real pleased with what I've been seeing out of him. JT did come out the bench and uh, he drew a walk. That was pretty nice to see. Zach Gutman, six innings, seven hits, one run, one was earned, and three strikeouts. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, it wasn't like terrific, but it wasn't bad at all. Uh, you know, that's what you expect in number three. I mean, right? I mean, he, he puts up decent numbers. He, he's been pretty consistent this year. One thing you can say about Zach Geffen, he has been pretty consistent this year. And he gets the job done again. So I'm so happy for Zach. Uh, so unfortunately, he did not get the win. Uh, but uh, he pretty, pretty decent. So not bad. Not a bad start to Zach Geffen. Brandon Kinsler, and he needs to start waking up. The third inning, three hits, three runs. All three are earned. The one strikeout. Uh, that was pretty bad. Um, so I uh, hate to say it out of, out of Brandon Kinsler. Um, you know, he's kind of had a bit of a shaky start here. He started off at the very beginning pretty strong, but since then he's kind of uh, had, had his struggles. No question about that. But Spencer Howard is not a nice uh, ending in the third out of the bullpen today. I mean, that was great to see, man. He was locked in. He looked great. And then Hector Nunes comes in at the top of the ninth inning, and he just completely shuts down that Giants lineup. Uh, so that was great to see. One, two, three innings. So uh, the Phillies win. They win the rubber match. Nice to see Gene Segura, some club news. Gene Segura to the 10-day IL. That is that is pretty. That's a pretty uh, big injury right there. That that hurts. That definitely hurts. Hopefully DD does not land on the IL. I'm full on hearing. I don't think he will. Hopefully we see him Friday. Uh, Colorado. Vince Velasquez starting that game. So that's not good. That is not good. But Gene Segura uh, to the 10-day IL. Man, that is not good. Uh, that really really hurts. Um, but to hope he's not out too long. Remember in 2019, I think he went on the 10-day on 2019, the very beginning of the season, too. So, uh, yeah, Scott Carey recalled from AAA, got two at-bats today. He looked terrible. He's one for 26 in the alternate site. Um, so uh, I don't have a lot of confidence in Scott Carey. I'm not going to lie. I just don't. Uh, so, guys, uh, we win the final game as we go on a little road trip here, a seven-game road trip, uh, to be exact. Uh, so we stay, we uh, get a day off tomorrow, and we take on the Colorado Rockies, 840 the first pitch Friday night. The Vince Velasquez versus McQuens, and uh, then uh, Saturday we got Noah versus Urenta, and then on uh, Sunday the finale game, Anderson versus uh, Gray. So, uh, win this series. This Rockies team is a disgrace. What's one of our first series on the road this season, right? I mean, we, I, ex I expect at least, at the very least, a series win here. And uh, going into that tough, tough uh, four-game series against St. Louis, you know they're going to want some retaliation. Uh, in that series for what we did to them at home as we won the series. So I fully expect at least a series win. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please show notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Check out the social media link in the description section. At Phillies House of Instagram, TikTok, our finance Instagram. Call or text 267-225-3392. Email at Phillies House of Guys, thanks for watching. 840 the first pitch on Friday night. Vince Velasquez on the mound. Oh, boy. So, day out tomorrow, Velasquez versus Mark Lance. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm Luke, and I'll talk to you later. Let's go, Phillies. Big win today. I'll see you guys.